Hey, Sasha. Uh, I was wondering if I could convince you to meet me for a blind date. You don't have to do anything other than show up looking pretty. <laughs> oh, come on. How dumb do you guys think I am? Is this Carrie? Nope. Marta? Nope. Think of me as your secret admirer. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. Seriously, who is this? Your secret admirer. I wanted to approach you in person, but you're so intimidating. Intimidating? Are you kidding me? I'm not one of the popular girls. I'm about as intimidating as a Valentine's heart candy. I don't know. Some of the messages on those can be quite ominous. Others are a bit risque. <laughs> we must not be buying the same candies. If you're angling for a specific message and draw out the wrong one the first time, it doesn't give your crush the right message. All you have to do is feel the lettering. Then you know what they say before you draw them out. Oh, that's really smart. It's also kind of cheating. <laughs> if you want to leave the right message, you don't leave things up to chance. See? Your ability to figure things out is intimidating. It's just basic logic. No one would see me and feel intimidated. That's because it's your brains and personality that make you intimidating. You wouldn't understand since you aren't the one doing the asking. I guess I've never actually asked anyone out. Is it really that hard? I'm on my phone texting you instead of talking directly to you. And it's because I don't want you to think less of me if you turn me down. <laughs> I don't know. If I were to say yes, you would get to see my happy expression when I agree. I have no doubt you would not take me seriously. It's a bit cowardly, but I'm really hoping to get a yes from you. I want a chance to show you that I am someone you can talk to. You would find that out by just asking me. Sure, but if you say no, you'll never see me the same way. And maybe you'll say no just because of who I am. What do you mean? I want to be able to show you that I'm serious. So for now, I want to ask you if you'll be my Valentine this year. If you're willing to give us a chance, meet me at the Sweet Spot Cafe at noon next Saturday. That's Valentine's Day. I know. I'm hoping to convince you to be mine for the day and possibly longer. You guys are very funny. I'll see you at school. Wait, this isn't a joke. I'm serious. Please tell me you'll think about it. Oh, haha. Ha. That's quite enough, guys. I'm not amused anymore. See you tomorrow. Okay. I'll spend the next week and a half showing you that I'm serious. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. Did you leave the note in my locker? Did you like it? It says that you left me a surprise in the girls' locker room. Clearly you are another girl. So that makes me all the more certain you are one of my friends. It was a nice try, though. Do you know how hard I had to work to get that in the girls' locker room? I mean, I could move it to the boys' locker room, but are you gonna try to get it there? Of course I'm not going into the boys' locker room. See? I didn't think you would. I would have put it in your locker, but, well, I don't know your locker combination. Whatever. Please stop. This isn't funny anymore. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm serious. I want to meet you on Valentine's Day. Please just check the girls' locker room and see what I got you. Fine. I can stop by after school, but after that, please stop. If you don't like it, I will. You got me a tennis bracelet and letter jacket? Yeah. And I'm a senior, so if you meet up with me for Valentine's Day, I want to give you my class ring, too. <laughs> That's actually really sweet. I would be so pleased to see you wearing the jacket. It's enormous. I can pretty much get lost in it. <laughs> I know, but it looks so cute on you. How do you know? That was a practice when you walked out of the locker room. So you're on one of the sports teams? Are you starting to see why I didn't think you'd take me seriously? <laughs> I thought all the jocks would have enough confidence to ask someone out, especially a nobody like me. Don't say that. You aren't a nobody. You're someone I want to get to know better. But she could probably have nearly any girl in school. I don't want just any girl. I'm only interested in you. All I ask is that you give me a chance by meeting me at Sweet Spot. Hmm. I'll think about it. I've still got over a week to ease your mind. And I'm going to put that time to good use. <laughs> okay.
Okay, I'm not gonna try to dissuade you. Let's see if you can convince me that you are serious. Oh, that's a challenge that I can definitely accept. And thanks for the bracelet and jacket. Please make sure to wear them to the cafe. If I go. Right, if you go. I hope to see you there. Which dress do you think looks the best? The one with hearts on it, definitely. Should I wear anything under it? Do you mean the lingerie he bought you? <laughs> Absolutely, he'll be able to see part of it through the dress. Then he'll know you're interested. No! I was talking about tights or hose or something. Nah, just make sure you shave your legs. Then he'll see that you think he's worth the extra effort. Okay, phew. I'm so glad I have you. Yeah, I told you that you should have started dating sooner. Well, no one's ever asked me out before now. That's because you act disinterested. I'm not just focused on that kind of thing. Unlike you, I have to cover my own college costs. I'm trying to get several scholarships so that I can focus on school. It's not like I asked my parents to cover my college. They just loved me enough to save for it. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. I'm not an only child like you. Well, stop acting like it's my fault that you have to work so hard. I'm not. And I'm sorry if I made you feel bad. I am a bit jealous, but it's why I need to be more focused on work. Well, like your secret admirer said, that probably makes you intimidating to other people. I guess. Thanks for the help. I really appreciate it. <laughs> it really doesn't seem like it. I'm sorry. I'm just getting nervous. This is my first date and I feel like I'm completely out of my depth here. That's because you are. But I have to go. Let me know how things go. Okay, I will. Did I get the time wrong? It's almost 12.30. Hello? Did something happen? Is everything okay? Okay, clearly you're standing me up. I'm leaving now. Hey, Sasha! You're now an internet sensation! What are you talking about? I'm still fuming over what happened yesterday. Here's a link. <laughs> What's that? Oh my god! That's horrible! Someone filmed me sitting and waiting at the cafe and now they posted it online? <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. You've always been so buttoned down. It's so refreshing to see you being so naive. <laughs> I can't believe you find this funny. This is mortifying. And it looks like it's getting a lot of views. Like I said, you're now a star. Welcome to internet fame, Sasha. How does it feel? Screw you, Moira. Wait, did you do this? I helped. You have no idea how hard it was to take you seriously when you were getting ready. I can't believe you would do that to me. We've been friends since elementary school. I've helped you study and made sure you passed some of our classes. And you have no idea how hard it was as we got older. I mean, it was so hard to convince people that I wasn't really your friend. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore. I don't want anything else to do with you. <laughs> it wasn't my idea. When a hot guy asks you for help, you don't turn him down. When it's against one of your friends, it should be easy. Like I said, I had to prove you weren't my friend. If I didn't go along with it, I'd be outcast, like you and the rest of your little brainy group. Enjoy flunking the rest of your junior year and all of your senior year because there's no way I'm going to help you now. And that's fine. My grade should be high enough. And if not, I can just pay someone to do my homework. And good luck getting away so I can cheat off your test. You're right. I have a lot to do this week. Enjoy your new fame. Maybe someone will want your autograph? Biggest loser on Valentine's Day. That should be how you sign it. Oh yeah, and we need our stuff back. You can just give it to me at school. He actually has a girl he wants to date, so he really needs the jacket back. Okay, you've had our stuff long enough. Give it back. <laughs> Give you what stuff back? I told you that the joke was over. 
The hot guy wants his jacket back to ask a girl out. I thought he was interested in you. Well, he didn't exactly say that, but I'm hoping to show him that I'm the right woman for him. By ruining friendships? Well, at least you're at least as much of an idiot as I am. Maybe bigger. Hey, I didn't go around insulting you. Oh no, you just intentionally hurt me. That is so much better. Whatever. Just give me the stuff back. <laughs> Bless your heart. I can't, Myra. Yes, you can. You're just being a sore loser. I would have to say that you and the mystery guy are the losers. Because I sold all of the stuff he gave me. What? You can't do that! Yes, I can. You guys gave it to me. Which made all of that junk mine. I was under no obligation to give it back. Sorry that you guys are so dense you didn't see the obvious. But that's now a you problem. You evil little witch. That tennis bracelet was an heirloom my mom gave me when my grandmother died. Sucks to be as intellectually bankrupt as you are. But hey, maybe you'll get a lesson out of it. And at least the world isn't laughing at you. But maybe I should comment about how idiotic you guys were on the video. You have to get that bracelet back. My mother is going to kill me. It's been in the family for generations. Hmm, <laughs> sucks to be you. And I don't have any more time to waste on fake friends. Hey, you can't just give away my jacket. My parents paid a lot of money for that. Oh, I didn't give it away. But that would have been a good idea. Then you have to give it back to me. It's not yours. Technically, it was mine because you gave it to me. Just like Myra gave me a family heirloom. What do you mean it was yours? You just said you didn't give it away. I sold it for a nice little profit. Thanks to you guys, I have 15 minutes of fame. As the woman who was turned into a joke, there were a lot of people who were interested in the jacket. I don't know how much your parents paid for it, but I got nearly $2,500 for it. What? I know. I was shocked too. But I'm putting the money to good use. Besides, the bracelet went for way more. After having it appraised, I was able to get $15,000. <laughs> Between the two of you guys, I'm really getting my college expenses taken care of. You'll get my jacket back because it wasn't yours. Funny, since I have all of the text messages saying it was, and how you wanted me to use it to prove I'm your girl. I'm gonna sue. Ha! <laughs> Good luck with that. I'll be there to watch you get laughed out of court. Especially since the messages make it clear that you gave me that stuff. I'm gonna get back at you for this. You poor little boy. Wait, that's an insult to boys. If you think that life was hard before, it's gonna get so much worse. And thank you for putting that thread in text. I may not know who you are, but Myra does. And she's made it clear that she does. We'll see how the school and police feel about all of this. You won't get away with this. I'll be just fine as you losers, who made me look like a desperate idiot online. You are a desperate idiot. That's what made the post so funny. That's why it went viral. And now I can finally laugh about it. All the way to the bank and college. Hey, bestie. I can't believe you came home and didn't tell me. Sorry, but all my phone says is B3, so all I know is that it's one of the losers who used to torment me in high school. What? I didn't torment you? We were friends for forever. Then you got mad over a little prank. And it wasn't even my idea. I was coerced into it. Ah, Myra, still failing to take responsibility when the consequences start. Did you and your parents ever get that bracelet back? Screw you! I can't believe you're still so petty after all of these years. Considering how I ended up having to go to college on the other side of the country to escape the BS you and your friends pulled, yeah, I'm gonna keep being petty. But you're so successful now. Can't you just let bygones be bygones? I want us to be friends like we used to be. <laughs> it's a hard pass for me. I mean... It would be horrible for my reputation to be friends with someone who humiliated me as publicly as possible. <laughs> then went on to be a college dropout and a failed trophy wife twice. Is it really that hard for you to be faithful? 
And because I know you're thick, that was a rhetorical question. Your poor parents are probably wondering where they went wrong. Screw you, Sasha. You're a horrible friend and I'm glad that I humiliated you. <laughs> no, I'm a great friend. And a vicious enemy. Now, if you don't mind, I'm looking at property on Maple Street. <gasps> what? How can you afford that? Hard work and being a fantastic architect. Have a nice life. Hey, Sasha. It's good to see you finally returned home. Um, who is this? It's Brandon. We were in high school together. We didn't exactly run in the same circles. I'm helping with the classroom reunion, which is in a few weeks. Since we haven't heard from you, I decided to contact you. Ah, oh, yes, Brandon. The boy who humiliated me to have his video go viral. Um, no thanks. I have no interest in seeing anyone from high school. Um, what? It wasn't me. Yeah, sure. And it wasn't me in those videos. Why do you think I did that? I never did anything to you. I recorded you and Myra putting literal dog crap in my locker. No way. If you had done that, you would have taken it to someone to get us in trouble. Funny you should mention that. I did. I took it to the admin office. They didn't want to do anything about it. They had lame excuses about it just being a prank or joke. Whatever. As one of their sports stars, they weren't willing to punish you. I was young and stupid. And you were still denying it until I told you that I knew it was you. That's because I'm embarrassed about it. I think it's because you're trying to win points because you're on thin ice around town. Considering how you cheated on your wife with one of your graduate students, I know that your job is currently on the line. I don't know why you think dragging me to some stupid reunion is going to help you, but it's still a no from me. You and your friends made my life miserable. I have no desire to ever see any of you again. Please. I really need this. I promised that I'd be able to get you to come because we had a special connection. Yeah, we do. But it's not the kind of connection that is going to make me want to do anything to help you. Now, if you don't want me to get my husband involved, I recommend you leave me alone. Of course, Brandon couldn't leave it alone. Although I was almost eight months pregnant, I eventually said I would go to the reunion, and I brought my husband with me. One of my actual friends had been roped into handling some of the technical aspects, so we added a few extra things to the slideshow. <laughs> when the time came, I got up in front of the people who used to torment me, and my husband joined me. Since he was a popular TV actor, everyone fell silent. We had kept our marriage low-key, so most people didn't know that he was married. He had his arm around my back and a hand on my belly, holding me while I had my friend play the short part we added. As the video of my humiliation started playing behind me, I laughed and said that moment changed my life. Being embarrassed by people like that and then being made fun of by the school taught me a lot of important life lessons. I then went on to list about half a dozen people who were in on the joke. This came as a shock since they had never been exposed before. People quickly turned on my former friend and the people who were involved. They soon left as people heckled them. My former friend ended up moving away because she was ostracized by everyone. Brandon was fired because it was the last straw. He had already given the school a bad name. Since his wife had been a bit on the shy side in high school, she was enraged. And eventually they ended up getting a divorce. She got full custody of their kids and ended up leaving for another town. Broke and alone, he moved back in with his parents. He tried to contact me a few times, but I always let my husband handle him. And being on his bad side is one thing that no one wants to do. We had a healthy baby boy. Instead of staying in place with so many bad memories, I convinced my family to move. I ended up having to design them their own homes, but since I love my job, I didn't mind at all. <laughs>